Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see how to study the high rise building project which has 70 meter height from the middle east. Additionally, I am going to tell you some of the important installation requirements from the Saudi building code, UAE final life safety code and Qatar civil defense. So this project what we see here which has the arrangement of two basement, ground floor and two podium, one service level, 12 floors and finally the roof. So here this luxurious project has lots of special requirement of the HVAC. That's the reason I particularly selected this project. So don't skip any point of the video. Let's start the video. Coming to HVAC drawing, we mainly have two parts, only the yard side and the water side. Water side description already we have provided in the earlier video, so please have a look at that. So coming to the yard side, we have four important sections to discuss. So the first important thing is the cooling air supply. So that is normally done through the AHU, air handling unit, fan coil unit, uh, fresh air handling unit, package unit. So these are the different items we have. And uh, coming to the excess ventilation, we have the toilet ventilation, we have the excess ventilation. And additionally, we have some other ventilation also. So like generator room, pump room and etc. We will see all those details. And coming to the smoke pressure session, we have the staircase pressure session and the lift pressure session. So we will start from this smoke pressure session first, then we will continue with the one by one. Like you see here, this high rise building project has plenty of staircase and lifts arrangement. So the concept of uh, each item is similar. So we will see one uh, zoom review. For example, if you see here at this level, we have the staircase pressure sensor fan located in the top level. So it is with the capacity of 11,305 liter per second. From here, the duct supply is given to each level for starting from the down level. For example, here you can see we have the basement two level. This is the first where the supply is here and basement one ground floor podium level. Podium 1, then we have the service level, then we have the podium 2, the T01 means a floor level. So floor number 1, 2, 3, 4, and moving further, uh, you can see here the top level for this project is the 12th floor. After that, we have uh, upper roof level and upper roof level. Before proceeding with the concept of this uh, drawing, we must understand some basic and important requirement of NFA 92. So let's start uh, the discussion of that one first. Like you see here, as per NFA 92, we have single injection. That means the, uh, the fan will be located only in the top. The fan can be propeller fan and the fan can be centrifugal fan. Coming to the multiple injection, the fan is located in the top only. But from here, we have the multiple way of injection. Like you see here, each and every floor, we have the injection method. So this is called as a multiple injection. Coming to some limitation in the injection, the roof or exterior wall mounted propeller fan, this is the important thing, propeller fans shall be permitted to be used in only single injection system provided that uh, wind seals are provided because of the wind effect. Because if you see that uh, drying of this propeller fan, you can understand what is the wind issue will come. For example, the propeller fans are located in this way, so the wind pressure will be acting like this, so this will create some issue in the pressure, so that is the reason they have particularly identified this point. And but the coming to the Centrifugal fans, centrifugal or inline axial fan shall be permitted to be used in both single and multiple injections. For both arrangements, we can use the centrifugal and inline axial fan. This is mostly we are using in the middle east also. So the air injection point for the single injection system shall be permitted to be located at any uh, location within the stairwell. So this point is very clear from that. If you have a single injection system, so uh, NFA 92 permits that the single injection can be uh, permitted to be located at any point in the staircase. So you can locate any point in the staircase for the single injection fan. Coming to the uh, explanation of the stable pressurization, this diagram will give you a very detailed idea about the stable pressurization. For example, in the sub, we'll start from the supply side. So supply air from the outside is taken through the fresh air intake lower. So from here, after that we have the motor to damper to control the amount of air passing through the system. Then we have the fan, fan stable pressurization fan. After the fan, we have the important item that is called as a NRD. So NRD means if you, you can see the explanation here, that is called as a non-written damper. So the amount of air which is passing through the shaft must not return to the fan. So that's the reason we have the NRD non-return damper here. From the NRD, the supply duct which is supplied to all the levels like you see here. In all the levels, we have the supply duct here for the staircase. And here at this point, SAG they have mentioned. SAG is supply air grill. So supply air grill we have to provide in the wall of this one, in the wall of the stair. And uh, with that one, we should have the balancing damper to control the amount of air 
passing through each staircase level and after that coming to the return this is the supply side coming to the return side you can see here the first arrangement this will be the opening based on the calculation you will provide the opening here so we, we should have two main important arrangement here that is called as a PRD so PRD means like you see here it's a pressure relief damper so when the pressure is exceeding the set value the damper will be open so the pressure will be excess pressure will be released from the pressure relief damper after the pressure relief damper we have the exhaust lower like you see here we have the exhaust lower located here so these are the important accessories we normally have for the stable pressure system and addition to that one we have one more important item that is called as a differential pressure sensor to monitor the pressure difference in the staircase Hello friends, I have a small request for you. Currently we have 5800 subscribers. As soon as we reach 10,000 subscribers, I would like to post a detailed design video starting from start to end for a complete high rise building project. Additionally, I have one more request. Most of the people are watching the video. I am really happy for that. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So that's why I can post more and more technical video for you. Thank you. So here you can see here the staircase pressure sensor fan tag number 1 which has the capacity of 11,305 liter per second and the total capacity of this one is equally distributed to all the level from top to bottom that is 595 liter per second is equally distributed to all the level and we have the SR is for the supply of the connection the SR means it is a supply register so supply register is used for all the supply connection in different different levels so you can see down also and as I told you earlier we should have one difference pressure switch so going down you can see here we have the pressure switch also located here so now for the same item we will see the schedule now what is the special requirement we have for this project so coming to the schedule the first point you can see here the same fan ta01 so this is located at tower one so we have different different towers i told you multiple uh, staircase and multiple stair lift also there so this is located in the upper roof so quantity one number uh, 11305 liter per second the, this is the external static pressure so whatever the value shown in the ifc drawing we must verify during the soft drying stage based on the actual duct routing and also actual duct size and also they have given some uh, RPM, the speed of the fan and also the drive they have given, it's a direct drive, uh, so they have given here and mainly this fan used in this pressure resistance system and also smoke control system must have the emergency power and this is the important thing and uh, there is no requirement that all this fan must have the standby system because that is the reason we have provided only the duty system, there is no standby but this fan must have the emergency power as mentioned here. So coming to some special requirement when mentioned in this project so all the smoke control system fan must have fire rated arrangement so like mentioned here minimum 250 uh, 250 degrees celsius for two hours fire rating must be provided all fans shown above shall be connected to and operate from fire alarm control panel this is important thing and uh, the third important thing here you can see Stairwell fans shall be connected to a pressure switch. We saw the pressure switch located in the mid level of stairwell. So, in case of fire, the pressure switch will control the speed of the stair uh, pressure system fan so that stair pressure does not exceed 50 Pascal. So, the maximum pressure mentioned uh, for this project in the staircase is 50 Pascal. So, if the pressure exceeds 50 Pascal, then automatically the pressure relief damper, which I showed in the return excess side, that will open automatically to release the excess air. So so the fan speed is uh, the fan will be provided with the VFD for the multiple speed. Then all fans shown above shall complete with the motorized damper. So we, uh, we saw that motorized damper arrangement and normally close in the normal mode and normally open in the fire mode. Coming to the lift to pressure system, as you see here, it's the single injection method. So as I explained earlier, single injection means only one way of injection will be there. From here, the air will be uh, driven through the downstairs. And also this single injection, as per NFA 92, it can be, the fan can be located at the top of the shaft or it can be located at the bottom of the shaft. So both these things are allowed as per the NFA 92. And additionally, this fan can be a propeller fan or this can this fan can be a centrifugal fan. But the issue, as I told you earlier also, if you have, if you are using the propeller fan you must provide the wind seal to avoid the wind pressure effect and but the sing, a centrifugal or inlet axial fan can be permitted for the single or multiple injection so both arrangements it is okay but coming to the multiple injection uh, we must verify the local code because coming to the UAE fire and life safety code they are very clearly mentioned that 
single injection system for the lift to high stiffer pressurization shall be limited to maximum of 30 flow so above 30 flow means you have you must go for the multiple injection method so that means the duct will pass to each level like we discussed for the lift uh, straight case pressurization the same concept must be followed if the floor level is more than 30 floor so this information must be confirmed with your local codes because uh, this requirement is uh, different with the uh, different uh, different civil defense so you must uh, confirm your local codes Coming to the detailed uh, diagram, uh, you can see the fresh air intake lower for the fresh air intake from this side and after that we have the motor shield damper to control the flow rate. After that we have the lift pressurization fan and uh, this fan as I explained for the staircase, this must have the fire rated fan, 250 degrees Celsius and 2 hours fire rating for this project and uh, after that we have the non return damper to avoid the return, uh, to avoid the return air coming back to the fan, we have the NRD, non return damper. Then this is the single injection method, so the injection is done from the top side. And coming to the return side, we have the opening uh, as per the calculation will provide the opening. So here the return side, the main component is the pressure relief damper. So once the pressure is exceeding some level, then the pressure relief damper will open. After that, we have the excess lower. So these are the main accessories we normally have for the lift pressure session. Additionally, there will be a pressure switch also will be located that I will see. I will show you in the uh, trying. So now uh, a same similar to the staircase pressure session fan. The lift to pressure fan is located in the roof level with 1550 liter per second. So, as I explained here, this is the high risk building with 68 meter height around. So, that is the reason we cannot provide the single injection method only from the top. So, for the lift to pressure session. So, we have provided the multiple injections similar to the staircase pressure session. So, like you see here, at all the uh, floor level, we have uh, provided the uh, supply register for the uh, supply fan for the supplier. For example, here you can see the supply register. So, this is there is an equal amount of distribution of air 80 liter per second from top to bottom equally we have provided the air arrangement so the duct is passing through this shaft and from here there will be uh, there will be a supply connection so here as you see here we have the pressure uh, switch also so once the pressure level exceeds the set value this will make the pressure relief damper open so pressure relief damper it will be located in the top level which is not shown here in the drawing so similar to staircase pressurization, it is starting from uh, like if for all the level we have given like a basement one uh, ground floor. So all the level we can see the staircase, uh, the lift pressurization also the duct is passing here. So coming to the schedule, so this is the fan we saw now, it is in the stair A01, it is located in the tower A roof side and we have one quantity as I explained, there is no need of standby fan but with this fan must have the emergency power, so this is mentioned here, emergency power must be there and here they have given the flow rate 1550 liter per second and this is the ESP external static pressure, so from the top to bottom the air has to be travelled, so they have provided the ESP, so this ESP must be verified in the soft drying stage, after that the fan RPM is given it's a direct drive fan and so there are some electrical parameters given like a three phase supplies they are provided and after that you, have, you can see the VFD arrangements should be provided for this fan and after that so for this requirement already we discussed so 250 degrees Celsius and 2 hours fan must be there and also the additional requirement uh, like the motor stress damper uh, so also the it should be controlled with the fire alarm control panel so this requirement is common for the lift and staircase pressurization fan in addition to this one, uh, I, would, I would like to highlight few important points related to the pressurization system. The pressurization system shall be automatically activated by the building fire alarm system only. So, only because of fire alarm system it will be activated. And coming to the next one, the number and the distribution of injection points. The injection point means you can see the injection point here. So, there are different injection points are located. So, this must be uh, even pressure profile. So, we have to ensure that it is evenly, uh, it has an even pressure profile. And even it is located at a different different level it is not like a first floor we are providing fourth floor we are providing fifth floor we are providing there should be an uneven arrangement must not be there in the pressurization system so this is the important thing and the third thing like this velocity we must verify always with the local code before we proceed for any type of design because if you follow the UAE uh, uh, civil defense code so they have very clearly mentioned that the air velocity uh, for the system must not exceed 5 meter per second See, similarly if you go to the Qatar you, you can verify the velocity uh, I think it is 4 meter per second something will come so you just yes, you have to verify that points before going for the design also so I have already provided the uh, staircase pressurization design uh, I have provided the link also please have a look at that one so in continuation of this video additionally we have the duct supply and return system like FAHU AHU ducts so that is we are going to discuss in the coming videos additionally we have the ventilation system for the same project so we will continue all this detail in the coming video so thank you for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel